witchcraft? And she goes, well, well, I've dabbled in it. A story of witchcraft, love interests, and changing personalities. The jury in the murder trial in Dallas heard details and drama from the defendant's longtime hairstylist. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. That hairstylist gave surprisingly personal testimony about her longtime customer, one of three suspects in a woman's murder. Prosecutors say the woman on trial, Lisa Dykes, stabbed the victim in a jealous rage at a home she shared with two other defendants. The victim, Mar Maricela Botello ended up at that home in Mesquite after a night out in Deep Ellum. Fox Horror's Alex Boyer followed today's testimony. Alex. Clarice, you know, the prosecution spent a lot of time today focusing on Lisa Dykes's personality and appearance. Her longtime hairstylist first met Dykes in 2016 and said back then she had long blonde hair and dressed more conservatively as she worked in a law firm. The hairstylist says that all changed when she met Charles Beltran. When she met Chuck, she she kind of started changing. Lisa Dykes' longtime hairstylist described for the jury how the defendant's appearance and personality drastically began to shift when she met Charles Beltran in 2018. But she wanted me to completely shave the sides of her head and do like a pompadour. The state showed the jury this collage of pictures with Dykes' change in hair, makeup, and clothing over a two-year period. Kathy DeLeon testified she was also surprised to learn that Dykes was making her adult daughter move out of Dykes' mesquite home so Beltran could move in. Well, she goes, I'm ready to live the life that I want and I can't do it with her here. DeLeon said that months later, Dykes told her that she was marrying Nina Moreno, a friend from her past, but only because she could give her everything she wanted financially and that she was not sexually attracted to Moreno. DeLeon said she went over to Dykes' home to do her hair for the wedding. She saw an altar with a grim reaper statue. DeLeon asked her about it. Are you into witchcraft? And she goes, well, well I've dabbled in it. The state called several character witnesses to the stand on Wednesday, trying to build a case that Dykes was a jealous woman who ultimately murdered 23-year-old Maricela Botello in October of 2020. Chuck was like, man, look at that girl. Dax Stevens was with Charles Beltran in Deep Bellum the night he met Botello. Stevens testified that the two chatted for a few minutes on the sidewalk before walking off together. Stevens said he asked Beltran about Botello the next day. Just around, just, just his words. And then um, he dropped off because she wouldn't let him take her back to the hotel. And he just dropped off by, like, Baylor. But prosecutors maintain that Beltran actually drove Botello back to Dykes' home, where Dykes allegedly stabbed her to death when she caught Botello in bed with Beltran, then disposed of her body with the help of Moreno. On cross-examination, the defense tried to poke holes in the state's characterization that Dykes was jealous. Had he ever said anything about Miss Dykes being jealous of him with women? Nah, no. Because everybody knows Chuck is a ladies man, right? For the most part, yes. She knew Chuck was a ladies man, didn't she? Yes. The defense pointed out that Dykes even let Beltran film this provocative video at her house for his rap song. And no time did he ever indicate to you that Lisa was jealous of this womanizing, did you? No. And it was also revealed in court today that Moreno paid for Dykes' facelift, liposuction, and a new Maserati. A Beltran is expected to take the stand for the prosecution in the coming days.